The UWI 500TP is a high capacity inverter delivering 500 ampere and weighing just 47 kilograms. It can weld all kinds of covered electrodes up to 6 mm, including cellulosic and high recovery electrodes. It is also capable of performing air carbon arc gouging. Like all other unit or welding machines, it is also capable of TIG welding of most metals. Combined with the UWF-102 wire feeder, it is excellent for wire welding. The machine's casing is made of high-grade aluminium in order to reduce the weight and the risk of corrosion. The standard Unitor arc welding accessories kit has all the necessary items to make the UWI 500TP operational. The accessories kit includes face shield with flip up front, welding gloves, return clamp assembly 3 meter cable, electrode holder assembly 3 meter cable, remote amp control, a steel chipping hammer and a wire brush. Be sure to familiarise yourself with the user manual before use. To begin using the machine, first connect the 3 meter long return cable assembly and the 3 meter long electrode holder assembly to the front of the machine. The UWI 500TP connects to a 3 phase 380 to 440 volt socket on the mains. It comes with a primary cable but needs to be fitted with a plug suitable to the receptacle on board. Once fitted, the primary cable is plugged into the receptacle with a 32 amp fuse. The line voltage compensation function keeps the output constant regardless of the variations in input power. The on-off switch is located on the back of the machine. The total protection TP function protects against voltage surges that could damage the machine. If lit, the total protection function has been activated due to one missing phase in the power supply. The user should switch the machine off and correct the power supply before continuing. In order to use the remote control, it must be connected to the back of the machine and activated by selecting remote control on the front panel. Also located on the back of the machine is the power supply transformer fuse, slow, 530 milliampere, 500 volts. Located at the bottom of the machine is the control cable outlet to attach the UWI 500TP to the UWF-102 wire feeder. The layout of the front panel is as follows. Press the select button to choose between normal stick electrodes, cellulosic stick electrodes, air carbon arc gouging or TIG welding mode. The arc force setting increases the short circuit amperage to give a crisper arc. This enables the welder to use a very short arc without sticking the electrode in the melt pot. This is useful when welding with stick electrodes at low amperages, but more spatter will be generated. Set the control to zero, soft arc, for normal electrode welding and TIG welding. The hot start setting increases the start current for 0.4 seconds. It makes arc striking easier and reduces the possibility of electrode sticking. The setting for normal stick electrodes can be increased from 1 to 100% of the set current. For cellulosic stick electrodes, the increase can be up to 200%. Press this button once to activate the remote control function. The light signifies that the machine is in remote control mode. For wire welding, keep the button depressed for 3 seconds to activate control from the UWI 500TP to wire feeder UWF-102. This will transfer all control functions to the wire feeder. This light turns green when there is power to the welding sockets. If the alarm light is illuminated, refer to the display for further information. Select A will display the welding current which can be set with the adjustment dial. Select V will display the no load voltage when not welding and arc voltage during welding. The CE and S symbol show that the machine is manufactured in accordance to the required rules and regulations. Connect the remote control to the back of the machine and connect the remote control itself to the electrode holder. The amperage remote control on the torch allows the welder to adjust the current during welding. The UWI 500TP has the capacity to weld all normal coated electrodes up to 6mm. This includes aluminium electrodes. Like all other Unitor welding machines, the UWI 500TP is very safe in use. The open circuit voltage is only 9 volts, well below the 70 volt limit set by the Code of Safe Working Practices for Merchant Seamen. Because cellulosic electrodes require a high voltage, the UWI 500TP has a special setting for this type of electrode to optimise performance. Press the select button until the light for the cellulosic process is illuminated. The arc will be easy to ignite and stable during welding. The UWI 500TP has a setting dedicated for air carbon arc gouging. 
press the select button until the light for the ACA process is illuminated. The process requires compressed air and a special type of torch. It is regarded as the fastest way of removing metal. By adding TIG welding equipment like an argon cylinder with regulator and a TIG torch, the UWI 500 TP can perform TIG welding. Make sure the TIG torch is connected to minus polarity. Set the machine to TIG welding by using the select button. The lift arc TIG start function provides contamination free deposit and avoids the use of high frequency. The remote control can be added for TIG welding to provide amp control during welding. When the UWF-102 wire feeder is connected, the UWI-500TP becomes a powerful wire welding unit. Wire welding is also referred to as MIG or MAG welding. The UWF-102 wire feeder comes with a skid and 4 meter welding cable, 4 meter control cable and a 4 meter shielding gas hose. The distance between the UWI-500TP welding machine and the UWF-102 wire feeder can be increased to whatever length required by using extension cables and a hose. Note that the MIG or MAG wire torch T400 or the self-shield torch T350 with 3 meter cables are not part of the wire feeder and must be ordered separately. Use the button to select wire welding. You could also have stick electrode welding or air carbon arc gouging. The select trigger function allows the welder to set the wire feeding for the two stroke mode. Simply press the trigger to start wire feeding and welding. Welding will continue as long as you keep the trigger depressed. Release the trigger to stop the wire feed and welding. If you set the trigger function to the four stroke mode, you can press and release the trigger to start the wire feeding and welding. And then press and release the trigger to stop wire feed and welding. Two stroke is used for shorter welds, whereas four stroke is used for long, continuous welds so that the welder does not have to keep the trigger depressed through the whole sequence. The wire feed speed is set on the wire speed pot meter. The display will show the set wire speed in meters per minute. The welding voltage is set on the voltage pot meter. The display will show the set voltage. You can fine tune the wire welding arc by adjusting the inductance dial. When welding with a short arc, lower inductance will give a crisper arc and easier arc start. The bead will become taller and narrower. More inductance will give a soft arc and flatter wide bead appearance. Too much inductance will give difficult arc starts. Low thermal connectivity materials like stainless steel need more inductance to get acceptable wetting with short arc. The warning signs are as follows. The welding machine is overheated and needs cooling. Hold. The display shows the last measured values. The light will go out when the welding starts again and the real values will be shown. When illuminated, this light informs the welder that power is available at the wire feeder terminals. The UWF-102 can weld up to 2mm soft or flux cord wire. For most processes, the torch will be connected to plus polarity. For self-shielding welding with flux cord wire, the polarity will be minus polarity. The UWF-102 wire feeder has a separate spool box outside of the wire feed compartment. The spool box is angled slightly upwards for ease of use and facilitates all standard spool sizes. This must be kept closed when welding as the wire will be live. The UWF-102 has a four-wheel wire feed drive roll system that ensures a steady and reliable feed of the wire through the torch. V-groove smooth drive rolls are used for all solid wires except aluminium. U-groove drive rolls are used for aluminium. Knurled V-groove drive rolls are specially developed for flux cord wires and provides excellent grip on their hard surface without damaging these tubular wires. And, like all Unitor TP welding machines, the UWI 500 TP can power the Unitor safety grinder. This low voltage 4 inch grinder is powered by just 42 volts which makes it much safer to use and conveniently doesn't require a high voltage power cord.